good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my October favorites and before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely consider hitting the big red button because we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up in the next couple of months and you won't want to miss anything. So the first part of today's video is sponsored by Lily Silk, which I'm really excited to say because I have been wanting to try Lily Silk's products for a very long time. Lily Silk is a company that produces high quality silk items made from 100% mulberry silk. They are eco-friendly, non-toxic, antibacterial, hypoallergenic, and they are amazing for your skin and hair. So Lily Silk graciously sent me this silk hair scrunchie, a silk sleep mask, as well as these silk pillowcases. And I've been using them for about a month, and you guys, I absolutely love them. My favorite thing is probably the pillowcases because they are so luxurious and so comfortable and they actually reduce friction. So when you're laying in bed at night and you're rolling back and forth, you don't feel that tugging and pulling that you can have with a normal pillowcase. And because of this, this helps reduce breakage. So if you're somebody like me who your hair will grow down to about the bottom of your shoulder blades and then it pretty much stops because it just breaks off from using heat styling products and things like that, this can really help reduce that breakage. The other thing that I've been loving and using a lot is the silk sleep mask. I have a very hard time sleeping unless my room is completely blackout dark. During the day, sometimes I have to sleep when it's bright as day, there's kids outside playing, it's very noisy, it's hot outside, and I have a hard enough time sleeping as it is. So having a sleep mask really helps me just kind of shut out the world. It's so comfortable, it's so silky, it doesn't tug at my eyelashes or anything like that. It signals to your brain that it's ready to just shut out the lights and go to sleep. So if you're like me and you work shift work or you're anybody who just struggles sleeping in general or falling asleep and staying asleep, I definitely recommend checking out a sleep mask. And this one from Lily Silk is the best one I have ever used in terms of comfort and breathability. Since I've started using it, I find that I wake up feeling a lot more refreshed and like I had a better, deeper sleep. I would say that using the sleep mask versus not gets me an additional probably one and a half to two hours of sleep during the day after a night shift, which is huge. So if you have little kids or there's some other thing that's keeping you from getting a good quality sleep during the night or during the day, I would highly recommend checking out the sleep mask. Lily Silk also uses mulberry silk, which has a lot of added benefits for your skin and your hair. It's very breathable. It doesn't harbor harmful microorganisms like bacteria and other things that can help contribute to skin conditions. This is definitely one of the best switches I've made all year is from going from a regular cotton pillowcase to silk. So also because I work in healthcare and I'm at the gym all the time, my hair is always pulled back in a ponytail. I pretty much live in a ponytail and having your hair pulled back all the time can also cause a lot of breakage. So if you switch even half of the time from using a regular hair tie to using a silk scrunchie, this can really help reduce breakage and friction and tension on your hair shaft. I do try to use this scrunchie at least half of the time, um, especially if I'm just running errands, doing things around the house. It's a lot healthier for my hair than having it pulled back in a tight ponytail ponytail. The other thing that I think is really cute is Lily Silk has coordinating colors. So you can match your scrunchie to your pajamas, you can match your pajamas to your bedding, whatever you like. So I will have all of these things linked down below for you guys. So if you guys are interested, Lily Silk was also kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. So you can save 12% off of all of your Lily Silk items with the code CODY12. So I will put everything down below in the description box and I definitely recommend checking them out. You guys, I have a whole bunch of favorites um, and a couple of those favorites are sitting right here in front of me. So one of those things is this pumpkin mug. I have showed you guys this in quite a few videos. This I just got from a local store and it's just a gigantic, coffee mug basically that's shaped like a pumpkin and I absolutely love it. It holds such a huge amount of coffee and I just think it's really cute. It goes perfectly with my home decor even though nothing else in my house is orange. And the next favorite that I have is this new candle from Bath and Body Works and this is the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle. I love Bath and Body Works candles. I don't have a whole lot of them in my home because sometimes I find them to be a little bit expensive and a lot of them can be very strong and almost give me a headache but I really really love the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle this has been my favorite candle year after year at Bath and Body Works and it smells incredible mm, it's sweet and it's a little bit spicy it's just such a beautiful scented candle so my whole house right now smells like I've just made like vanilla pumpkin cupcakes it's so good mm, 
so good. Okay guys, so my next favorite of the month is this tinted moisturizer from Dermatology, and I actually ordered this from Amazon. I got this on the advice of Dr. Dre. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, but she's a dermatologist who has um, three quarters of a million followers. She's amazing. Um, I have learned so much from her channel and I really enjoy this moisturizer because this has SPF 46. So this is like a sunscreen and a tinted moisturizer in one. So it gives you a little bit of coverage and it's kind of like using a foundation, but with the added benefit of a whole bunch of SPF, which is awesome because there's a lot of days I don't feel like wearing a whole bunch of makeup or maybe I'm just quickly running out to the gym and I just want to make it quick. Um, this is awesome because it makes you feel put together and it looks really good as well, but you're getting that sun protection. Um, so the other thing is this is a universal tint, which means it matches pretty much every skin tone. I'm a pretty fair skin tone and this blends right in with my skin. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing anything. It just kind of gives me like a nice coverage, but without being a full face of makeup. So I've been really impressed with this product. And if you guys are looking for something that is like a tinted sunscreen or tinted moisturizer with the added benefit of the SPF, definitely check out this one. The next favorite is a perfume, and I actually have two perfumes, but I'm gonna save the second one for last, so make sure you watch until the end to find out what that one is. But this one is Zadig and Voltaire, this is her. And I tried to pick perfumes that I haven't talked about too much lately, because obviously I have a couple of other new favorites in my collection, but I tried to pick other perfumes that I haven't mentioned for a while, but that I've still been loving and wearing. So this is one of them. This is a beautiful, sexy, sweet, floral, but this also has chestnut and whipped cream in it. So it's a very unique, creamy, warm, cozy, um, feminine scent. And I really, really enjoy this. And actually something happened that has never happened in the history of perfumes for me. Um, I showed this one to my boyfriend and he really liked it. But then a couple of hours later, he brought this one up again out of his own will and accord just randomly. And he's like, hey, you know that perfume in the white bottle? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, it was really good. <laughs> and he never does that. Like he never makes it a point to talk about a perfume unless I force him to pretty much. Um, so the fact that he brought this up out of nowhere and mentioned it and said, make sure you wear that. I really like that. Um, really says something. So yeah, he really digs this one and I always say dig. Every time I talk about this one, I always say I'm digging this, but that's totally because of the name. I don't usually say the word dig. I really like this perfume. So definitely check out Zadig and Voltaire. This is her. If you're looking for something cozy and creamy and feminine and perfect for October and fall and winter, this is delicious. And this is a hundred mil bottle. I've only had this for just about a month, but you can see how huge of a dent I have put in this bottle. I've used so much up already, um, and I really need to slow down. And this also is a compliment getter. People can really smell this on you. Um, it stays in my clothing forever. So yeah, this was a really good blind purchase. And my next favorite is actually a handbag. And I usually don't talk about handbags with you guys, but I thought I would mention it in this video because this is my go-to handbag for the fall. I absolutely love this. This is a Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. So this is the medium sized and this is in the monogram print. So I know a lot of people don't care for the monogram print, but I absolutely love it. I've always loved the monogram. The issue with the monogram is that there's a lot of these bags floating around that are fakes. It's a very easy bag to fake, unfortunately. So there's a lot of replicas floating around. This one was actually a gift. Um, and this is the one with the red on the inside. And, um, I absolutely love it. I really wanted the pink one as well, but I really like the red one. So the only thing I need to get is the organizer for the inside so that I can kind of keep my stuff all in one place. But you guys, this is my go-to bag for fall and winter. I actually have this one in the Demier Azure print, which is like the blue or gray and white um, check. And that's the one that I use for spring and summer. And it's also the one I use when I go on uh, vacation. But when it comes fall time and it's a little bit colder and I need something that is, um, brown or like a little bit darker that kind of goes with my winter jacket and goes with everything, I immediately switch to this one. And the nice thing about this bag, especially if you are a busy woman or you're a mother like myself, this holds everything. Everything I need to bring for the day fits into this bag and I absolutely love it. It's just such a nice go-to. Um, it's also super stylish. I always get compliments on this bag and yeah, I absolutely love it. And it's actually pretty affordable. As far as like designer bags go, this is one of the more affordable ones. I feel like this is a good 
kind of a starter bag as well because it is a little bit more on the affordable side and it's super, super durable. It's also very practical. Yeah, I just absolutely love it. So this is definitely a favorite of mine, not just for October, but just for fall and winter in general. And my second last favorite for the month of October is actually this pair of shoes. This is a pair of Nike sneakers, obviously. I've worn them a couple of times, so they do have a little bit of scuffing on them. They need to be washed. That's the only trouble with white, is white is very hard to keep clean. But I am in love with these sneakers. I formerly had a pair of black Nikes, and I wore them right down. I needed a new, comfortable pair of gym shoes. I go to the gym about five to six days a week, and I mostly lift weights. So I need something that isn't too high, but that still gives me like a little bit of height because I'm also a short girl. So yeah, I absolutely love these. And these are, I believe the Tangent. I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly. I will link these down below if you guys are looking for them. Super affordable, very comfortable. I also really like the pink Nike swoosh on the side. I think it's so cute. It's just like the perfect little touch of color. You know me, I don't like a whole lot of color when it comes to my shoes. Nothing looks cuter and more posh, I think, than a really nice pair of white sneakers in the gym. So absolutely love these ones. Definitely check them out if you're looking for a new pair of shoes. I think you can still get these. And the nice thing about them is they have them season after season and they have them in a lot of different colors. So my personal favorite is the one with the little, um, pink swoosh on the side. And like I say, these are even in a more affordable price bracket than some of the other Nikes that you can get, which I really like. Super comfortable, awesome bang for your buck. So definitely check them out if you're in the market for a new pair of sneakers. Okay, and my last favorite for the month of October is this fragrance from Ariana Grande. This is her new REM fragrance. And you guys, this is the only one from Ariana Grande I've actually kept in my collection. Um, I do like Cloud. Um, but it's not my favorite, but that's a conversation for a different video. Um, so this one is her newest release. This is a salty lavender scent. I believe there are a couple of gourmandish type of notes in here, but this is definitely the least celebrity-esque and the least kind of bubblegum sweet perfume from her collection. This one I also get really good lasting power. I get at least four to five solid hours out of this one. So I really like this, you guys. I got rid of the... Um, I got rid of the little crystal bottom that came with it because I thought that it was very tacky and to be honest I don't really like the lid. I don't like the bottle in general um, but I really really like the juice that's inside. So this is it's kind of like it's almost like a salty lavender kind of a dryer sheet vibe but there's also something sensual about it. There's also like a little bit of sex appeal, a little bit of sensuality. Um, this is my favorite perfume to wear when I'm just lounging around at home at night with my significant other, putting our feet up, watching some Netflix. This is a great Netflix and chill scent. This is a great spray on fresh out of the shower before you hop into bed kind of scent. Um, and there is a little bit of sexiness to this. And I also have been complimented. I can tell that my boyfriend really likes this one. Um, so yeah, I think this one is also pretty popular with the men. It has like kind of a similar vibe to cloud. It almost has a little bit of a cloud feel, but for me, this one smells a little bit more expensive. It smells a little bit more um, sophisticated. It smells a little bit more mature, and it still definitely has that kind of cozy, sexy vibe. So I really, really like this, you guys. It's grown on me more than I thought that it would. When I first got it, I kind of reviewed it, and then I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I don't know if it's really me. And the more that I wear this, the more I love it. So this one has definitely grown on me. And um, if you haven't checked it out, definitely give it a shot. It's fairly affordable. So if you don't like it, you can always gift it to somebody. Um, yeah, but that is Ariana Grande REM. So you guys, that is it for today's favorites video. Again, sorry for the squeakiness of my voice. I'm still getting over a cold. Don't forget to head on over to Lily Silk and use the code that I gave you if you're interested in getting any of their incredible silk items. And do head on over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already where you're gonna see a lot of things that I don't share here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.